going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today i've got an updated 3d text tutorial for you guys for photoshop and cinema 40 I'm pretty much going to show you guys how to pretty much make 3d text in the fastest way possible uh, i made an old video as you can see on the screen this is my old 3d text tutorial that i made it's kind of outdated a lot of the processes were pretty long and you know I, I still get like views to this day people like commenting saying Yo, this is a pretty good tutorial. I'm like, yeah, it's good, but, you know, I got a little better. So, you know, we're just going to make a new tutorial on that because that was a little outdated. And, you know, people just need to have the newer stuff that's more efficient for your work. Now, with all that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is click File, go to New, and then go ahead and make sure your width is at 1920, your height is at 1080p, resolution 72. Pixel slash inch, uh, it could be 8 bit or 16 bit, doesn't matter. And then a white background, and then you could create. Uh, you're gonna be presented here with a white background and a lock. You're gonna want to go ahead and click the lock to get rid of it. Click the I to get rid of the white background. And there you go, you, you're here with a blank canvas. Then you're gonna want to get any text you want. Uh, and then for today's tutorial, we're just gonna type it tutorial. And then we'll use the font Death Star. Any font can work, obviously. It's just, you know, I just I just decided to use this font today. Um, so we'll just make it as big as you want. And then go ahead and drag it into the middle here. Actually, no. I'm not going to use that. Let's use Wazcott. I like to use, like, more, like, cartoony fonts. I think they just look better overall. Um, sometimes some clean fonts as well. But, yeah, we're going to use Wazcott for today's tutorial. Uh, so you're gonna want to make your text as big as you want doesn't matter type whatever you want Make sure the the foreground color is black so you can see what you're doing um, And then you're gonna want to hold control Go over to the right hand side where your text is and highlight over the T until you see this dotted box You're gonna left click and you're gonna see some marching ants going around your text Then you're gonna want to go to your rectangle marquee tool Go on your text just highlight over it right click it go to make work path Make sure it's on 1.0 pixels and click OK. Then you're going to be presented with these like little outlines around your text. That's pretty much normal. Uh, it's just outlining your text for you to import it into Cinema 4D. So then you're going to go to File, go to Export, and then Paths to Illustrator. Uh, make sure it's on Paths Work Path. Click OK. Name it whatever you want. So I'm going to make it Tutorial 3. Then you're going to want to open up your Cinema 4D. Uh, go to your file explorer, scroll all the way to the very top until you see quick axis. Click quick axis, and then it should be like the very first uh, file there. You just drag it into your Cinema 4D. Make sure it is on one. Uh, one centimeters, connect splines is checked, and then click OK. So that's going to bring you to the next screen here. Um, all you have to do is go to the project section here. Click on the tutorial uh, or your text or whatever. Make sure you go down here to the bottom right where it says position X, Y, and Z. Make sure the X is on zero and the Y is on zero. Now, you can move your uh, camera around if you go to the top right here where this little like uh, circle, the arrow, and then the cross section of arrows. Uh, if you hold this though, the like rotating tool, just hold left click and you can drag it around. You can rotate like that. If you hold the arrow uh, up and down, then it zooms in and out. And then if you hold the cross section arrows, then that you can just pretty much move around. Um, so the next step you want to do is go to your project section, open up the folder. You should see all these paths here. Just count out how many paths you have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight paths. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and go to this little green box here. Hold left click and click extrude. And then you're going to want to copy that about seven more times well since i have eight letters i'm gonna copy it seven times however many letters you're gonna have that's how many extrusions you're gonna make so one two three four five six seven in order to copy and paste you do Control c and then that's the copy to paste Control v then you're gonna want to go ahead and take your paths and just drag each one of them into the extrusions one by one that's just gonna give them their little basic extrude as you can tell on the left hand side once you're done with that, go ahead and minimize all of these just so you can, you know, make your workspace workspace look a, a lot cleaner. 
delete your this this bottom portion here you don't really need that anymore that's just saying that you know your text layer is empty go to the very top extrude hold shift go to the very bottom one and left click it'll highlight all of them go down to the movement here on the far right side and object and make it say 80 you can do whatever size you want that's just pretty much you know making the the you know the depth of the text uh, I don't know who's gonna like make their text this long, but you know that that just doesn't make any sense I don't know why you, why you would do that. But yeah, I mean values from like 50 to I would say 50 or 80 is pretty good So you're gonna go ahead and click the first extrusion go to the very last one again and uh, Hold shift and left click You're gonna press hold alt and click G that'll pretty much combine the the layers in the one you can rename it to say text go ahead and open it back up highlight all of your extrusions again go to cap change your start cap to fillet cap change your end cap to fillet cap turn the first steps into 10 turn the radius into 3 on your start cap on your end cap put the steps on the 10 put your radius on 3 and click enter then you're going to want to close your text copy and paste that open up your your copied text uh highlight all of them again go to your caps and put it on 20 for the steps 10 for the radius 20 for the steps 10 for the radius click enter go to your object go to movement and you're gonna want to uh move up your movement by 10 or 20 so we're gonna just make it like 100 or so then go to your original text which is the first one that you ever made uh you're just gonna go ahead and go to your selection tool up here in the top right it's like the cross with the arrows uh, hold the hold left click on the blue arrow and just drag it out as you can see you get this little like rim around your text now for as far as materials you can find materials on Go I mean on YouTube you can find them anywhere just type of cinema 40 free materials and you can find them there um, I already have preset materials obviously because I <laughs> I work on text a lot for my Fortnite work so once you got your materials you're just going to want to have to drag them into your cinema 4d uh, grab whatever material you want doesn't matter which one you could get you get uh, so if, if your materials don't pop up like how mine are um, like on, a, on the screen right here you can always go to your far right and go to content browser presets and then it should show you all of your material packs that you downloaded after you drag them into cinema 4d so once you got your materials just go ahead and drag them onto the first layer of your text you could go ahead and you know just do that real quick simple and easy stuff make sure you have uh objects selected on the far right so you can go back to your project open up the very first uh set of text that you created on the far right hand side you're gonna see all of your materials click the ver very first one go to the last one hold shift and click then you got pretty much you know you're highlighted all of them go to the projection down here in the tag tab Go change from UVW mapping to cubic and then go down here to seamless and check that as well. Now for the, the back of your text, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. Doesn't matter what type of, you know, uh, material you put on the back. Just depends on you. You just highlight all of them. Go to projection cubic and then seamless. Make sure that's checked. Now for specific materials, you could go ahead and change like, you know, the color. So say for instance, if you don't like the color purple here, um, you can go ahead and double click on your material, go to color right here, and you could just change the value of whatever you want here and then just click okay. And then it'll pretty much just change it to the color that you specifically want. So we're gonna go ahead and make it like a nice little red here. Um, there we go. Make sure you minimize that. After you're done with all of that, you could go ahead and get a Lightroom, the Flash X Aether. Lightroom does work very well, but I'm gonna be using the Mondez Lightroom. That's just one of my favorites. So uh, make sure you highlight both your text, Alt G, put them in a group and then rename it to text. Copy your text, go to window here, go to your Lightroom after you loaded it in the Cinema 4D um, and then Control V and then click yes and then it'll pretty much put your text inside of the Lightroom then you're gonna want to get a camera put the or make sure the white box is enabled go to the coordinates and make every value that has anything above one uh, make it zero well keep the middle section on one but everything on the other sides make it zero 
on the sides, pretty much the left and right sides of the, the ones in the middle. Uh, after you get done with that, you're gonna be presented with this, like, screen here. You're gonna be pretty much be zoomed into your text. Uh, just go and just zoom out, and there you go. You pretty much have your text here, then you could just rotate your text however you want. Uh, you could do this, you could do that, move the camera around, doesn't matter how you do it. Then once you have your text all nice and uh, rotated and positioned correctly, you could go up to this little gear tab, and then I think on the on the Flash X Aether Lightroom, it should say some like values over here on the left hand side. This is pretty much your settings. Uh, you could do average settings, good settings, or best settings, or whatever it says on the Flash X Aether uh, Lightroom. I usually I have the best on obviously because I can render them pretty quickly just so I can get the best amount of detail out of my text possible. So once you get done clicking one of those, you could just click the little box on the side. I'm gonna keep mine on best. Exit out of that and click this little render box here in the middle. Now once your text is is pretty much done rendering, you should see this little um a green dot on the side here. Once it's done with that, you could just right click the text. Or right click uh, your render pretty much go to save as uh, click OK make sure this is on PNG you click OK and then name it whatever you want and yeah that's that's pretty much it to the tutorial I mean simple as that you can mess around with the values change up the you know the the, the caps or whatever uh, this depends on your taste however you like it to look um, and yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it. it's just that simple and easy for this type of method um, make sure you get your light rooms. If the lights, well, after you render it, if your lights look like kind of weird, you can always just take your light room and just rotate it. You can always do that as well. Um, just click on your light room, go to light room tab here, and then you could show your boxes so you can see what's going on. And then you can just rotate it to change like the, the light, how light it is and how dark it is and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Hopefully it did help you guys out. Hopefully you guys did learn something new. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you out. Yeah, make sure you do share this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.